Just reboot it! Thirty-eight of New York's finest versus one guy in a unitard. Woo! If you want the truth, Peter, come and get it. The amazing Spider-Man. All right, so the amazing Spider-Man is a movie star, Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Sally, Sally Fields, Martin Sheen, and some other actors in there. And the basic premise of this movie is basically a reboot of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. It's not really a reboot. It doesn't try to make. It doesn't try to remake Spider-Man of the original. And this is more of a modern superhero story. As I've said in my as in my series of reviews of the Spider-Man movies, the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans were more of a Richard Donner style Superman movies. Where this now the Amazing Spider-Man is completely different, a little fresh. It takes the origin story and basically retells a lot of the stories you saw in the original Spider-Man movie, but it gives it a little more modern feel to it. So let's talk about the performance of this movie. The main performance of Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I like Andrew Garfield as an actor. I think recent I think some of his some of his movies really I love. Like we if you talk about the Social Network. I thought he was amazing in The Social Network. And we just talked about recently, Hacksaw Ridge and Silence. I mean, Oscar worthy. Oscar worthy. Should have won the Oscar. And The, the Amazing Spider-Man, his performance as... Now, as I said with the... With Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker as Spider-Man. I thought Tobey Maguire played a really great Peter Parker. I thought he was lacking in the Spider-Man department. Now, I'm reversing that. Andrew Garfield... I think is a amazing Spider-Man. Some of his uh, funny quips in the movie are hilarious. I just don't think he plays Peter Parker that well. The one exception is the one thing I like about Peter Parker and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man is the thing about I love about Peter Parker is before he gets the before he gets the spider powers, he was already a genius, and I love that you actually get to see that. He actually is building stuff. He's built, he builds his own spider web. I actually really like that. So I think he shows more brains than than, than Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man did. I just feel like he. You feel like the Spider-Man's not just about the spider powers. He's also really really smart. But like I said, the funniness of uh, Spider-Man is the best part. One of the funniest lines in the entire movie is he has a uh, guy who's trying to steal a car. And he pulls out a small knife. He's like, he's like, oh god, is that a small knife? He's like, that's right. He's like, that's my one weakness. It's really small knives. Yeah, just let me go. I'm just like, it's just, that's just a funny moment. And I think, uh, like I said, his portrayal as Spider-Man is really good. And then you have the love interest. Every superhero movie has a love story. And you have Emma Stone who plays Gwen Stacy. And this is one of the best relationships I've ever seen in a comic book movie. Just the chemistry between the two, and that's like the only good thing about the next movie, is the chemistry between the two char characters. It's just that you can totally buy it. And the thing about this relationship is, with the relationship with Mary Jane and the original Spider-Man, it took Peter to become Spider-Man to get Mary Jane. Peter can get Gwen Stacy without having spider powers. And she doesn't even know he's the Spider-Man until before she starts showing interest in him. So it's a, a, little, a little more, it's a better relationship. The villain is the villain is Kirk Connor, otherwise known as the as lizard as a lizard man or the lizard or however the whatever the villain's name is in the comic books. And the thing I didn't like about the lizard, Kirk Connors as a villain, was it, the villain's a little forgettable. And the main problem with it is. That you could have done a really good day. He he injects himself with the venom, and then the lizard basically takes over. But Kirk Connor still wants to be a good guy, but he uh, but he keeps getting taken over by the lizard, and they just didn't do that. They just they completely made Kirk Connor's evil, and it just did not work. The post credit scene does you know it tries to introduce like the Sister Six in the next movie. I'll get to that and the failedness of that. But I really think The Amazing Spider-Man is a really great reboot of the original Spider-Man movies. Of the original Spider-Man movie. The origin story, it basically retells the origin story. Martin Sheen, I really like him as Ben Parker. And I really, really like, I really, really 
like The Amazing Spider-Man. I'm going to give The Amazing Spider-Man an A. So guys, have you checked out all my Spider-Man reviews so far? Make sure you check them out. I'll have the, my annotations of Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man 2 over there. I'll have my final review of The Amazing Spider-Man, my Spider-Man series in a couple weeks when I talk about the one that killed the franchise. So guys, have you seen The Amazing Spider-Man? Where are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to see more, and tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry.